at the Big Red Bash at the Simpson Desert with Bill Finlay. Bill's traveling with his wife Sue out to the event, so we thought we'd have a bit of a chat about his MDC experience. So mate, you've got a XT12, how are you finding it? It's been great, we've done one other desert run, we went through the Tenemai the previous year. We had a couple of little minor dust issues, obviously travelling through thousands of k's of, um, of dirt, but we've sorted that out. We've been back and um, modified just a, a, a couple of things and MDC helped us uh, do that and uh, the um, experience has been fantastic. So how have you found the bash? Been good? It's been great. Um, main music events on today, so looking forward to the, the um, acts on today. So yeah, really looking forward to this it. This is your first bash? First bash. I wanted to do it last year, but uh, we went did the Tanami instead, and this was on the bucket list, so we've decided to do the bash this year. So, so you're from the Gold Coast, so this trip, did you come straight out? No, uh, we went up to Cairns and mm -hmm. we went across to um, uh, Andara lava tubes and then across to Cobalt Gorge, um, up into Borolula, a fair bit of dirt, rugged roads up that way and then we came across um, into Daly Waters, up into Darwin for Krakenite, mm -hmm. which was on the 1st of July, and then we've came, come back through uh, Camel Wheel, into Mount Isa and back down to the rig, Big Red Bash, so um, we've been on the road for about four weeks now. That's a great run. That it is a, a, it is a big trip. run, yep. So how did, you, how did you end up being an MDC owner? What inspired you to buy an MDC caravan? Well, I researched uh, vans and went to most of the van shows for about three years before we decided to buy. So I looked at everything that was on the market and I thought these represented the best value for what you got. Heavy construction, heavy duty, um, compact. I wanted something that was um, towable because I've got a Prado, it's only a four cylinder diesel. I looked at fuel economy and distance and where I could travel and I sort of ticked all those boxes. So that's why I went for it. Is your Prado the 2.5 or 3 tonne tow capacity? Mine's the 2.5 ton. It's got 130 litre tanks in it. So mm -hmm. um, towing this, I get about 15.7 litres for 100 kilometres. So that's, that's pr pretty damn good. That's, that's pretty good. Yes. Uh, but I take it reasonably slow. I'm travelling at about 90, 95 on the highways and probably on the dirt roads I'm hitting about 70, 75 k, 80 k. You would have been um, reasonably limited in your off-road caravan choices with a 2.5 ton. Um, yep. 2.5 ton tow capacity. Yep. So yeah, that would narrow it down a lot trying to find one light enough that you can Well, some of, some, of the, some of the places we've been to have been very remote, like uh, Going through the Tanami was an experience on its own, yeah. and going through those particular areas, uh, and just um, driving into the scrub and finding a nice spot um, to camp and being self-sufficient, relying on the solar panels, and and um, we've got a fridge freezer set up here, which um, really ticks the box as far as you know, having all the food and supplies we need to be away for four weeks. And so obviously the generator humming in the background. Well, the, the back generator's there. there. We run a, you see a satellite dish here, we run a TV, so we yeah. can pick up TV anywhere in Australia. So we've got all the comforts. State of origin night last night. Yeah. You know, so. Go Queensland. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the only New South Welshman here, I think. But yeah, so, it was a good night. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, we had a crowd around us last night. They all sort of come in like blowflies. Yeah. So no, a great experience. And um, the van has been fantastic. That's terrific. So what, where are you going next? What are your future travel plans? Uh, well, we're, we're heading on the way home. We're heading to the camel races at Baduri. Uh -huh. And um, we've got a bit of a run. We're going up to Mullaney, so we've got to meet some you know people the there. You know the Batuta pub's open again? Oh, yeah. It's, it's oh, reopened. It's... They haven't got their liquor licence yet. All right. But it has reopened, so it's probably okay. worth poking your head in there on the way back. All oh, right. Too. Yeah. So, no, we've, um, we're looking forward to the experience. We've probably got another two weeks, so round trip about six weeks. Yeah. And so that'll be the end of our trip. Down the track, next holidays or? Oh, we go up towards Fraser Island fairly on a regular basis, um, do a bit of fishing in coastal areas. So um, I'm perhaps with you there on the fishing. in the future, we've just got to pick the dates. We might head down south, um, South Australia or somewhere down there, but we we'll, haven't done the research on those areas yet. So I highly recommend the Flinders Ranges. Yep. It's magnificent, it's beautiful. Yep. It's sort of like this, but the mountains and, yep. and that around the area. So there's so many places to explore and um, we want to get the best use out of this while we've got it. So um, we've had it for three years and the experience has been fantastic. My wife loves it. Uh, we haven't really had any dramas at all. So it's, uh, you know, we go to the, uh, any, any little quirky things we needed fixed, we go to the, the service group and they've been fantastic. I must compliment you on that. Um, you. And other than that, um, we've had a, it's been a great experience all around. Well, that's great, mate. Well, it's been an absolute pleasure talking to you today. Yep. yep. Thank, Thank you, you, and I trust we'll see you again yep. somewhere, somewhere in the future. Good on you. Thank you Thanks, very much. Mate. Okay. Thank you.